I will bring to the attention of the people of the Philippines. One is the lacadaisal, lacadaisical, lacadaisal, lacadaisical attitude of some big business to do away with contractualization. Alam mo, uh, I heard uh, Secretary Bellio of the Department of Labor saying that uh, he would be fielding more warm bodies, more men, to do the inspection because uh, medyo may mga kumpanya pa, pati korporasyon, or whatever, uh, would fall under the uh, category of one who has to do away with contractualization. Alam mo, wala akong pera, wala akong tao to really inspect all of the uh, in the category of uh, uh, you know uh, doing away with the contractualization. My 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 message to them is very simple. Do not wait for us to inspect. I would like to assume that everybody who falls under that category will honor what we are asking for the people. Huwag na ninyo akong hintay na mahuli ko kayo because I will be unforgiving. You will not only lose your money, you will lose your pants. I will not tolerance ako dito. Ito ang pangako ko sa tao. And I will do it. Hintuan na ninyo yan. Bayaran ninyo ang tao sa tamang sweldo. Stop contractualization. It will not do good to our country. Wag na akong, wag na ninyong mahuli kayo ni Secretary Belio. Pag nalaman ko, I'll just simply close your plant. And you'd always find a thousand reasons to do it. Believe me. Don't tempt the, you know. Eh, nakakaawa yung tao. And you are creating a very serious uh, dissension in the society. Some are despondents. They are being passed to one expertise to another. Sabi ko yung TESDA. We spend so much training people for a particular skill. And kung yung contractualization na yan, he gets one position today for the next five months. As sabi ko na electricians, when all the while he was trained to be a plumber or a carpenter, you do not help the people with the security of tenure. At itong mga nagsusupply ng manpower, uh, agencies, pati mga security, com security, uh, mga security guards. Alam mo, ito sila, they work 24 hours ang shift nila. When they're only supposed to render 8 hours. Alam mo, karamihan niyang may-ari ng mga security agencies, most of them are military men. I'd like to tell you now, Magsunod kayo o ikakanselar ko yung permit ninyo. Mamili kayo. Mga security guard 24 hours, kaya natutulog. Kaya kaya hindi na kayo deliver ng services doon, outsource yung manpower, iba hindi ko tra pat patrabahoin mo yung tao. Alam mo, ito ka na kayo talat. Tayong Pilipino. Mas yung matigas talaga ulo natin. Gusto natin as... You know, brasuhin ko kayong lahat. Eh, masama yan eh, sa bayan. Stop it! Uh, ako ba naman kung ikakaligayan ng lahat yan and it improve, uh, enhance our economy, wala kayong problema sa akin. But the human being, lalo na security guard, pay all the benefits. 
yung mga nag-outsource, ikaw yung ahensya, the agency, ay you take over as the employer. Then pay lahat kayo. Huwag kayong umaman dyan ng pawis ng kapwa ninyo tao. Kalukuhan yan. If you are uh, nag-outsource, whatever uh, airlines assume therefore as the real employer. So bayaran ninyo lahat. SSS, tsaka wala yung paikot-ikot. Huwag ninyong paikotin kasi ang totoo niya, ayaw talaga niyo magbayad ng... Man, if you do not take care of the workers, then I cannot take care of you. Eh, ano yan eh? Quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Tit for tat. So yan, ang warning ko. Second is mining. Huwag ninyong ano yung si General, General Lopez by publicity. Hindi siya marunong sa si Gina. She is not an incompetent. She is a bright lady. And she is simply a crusader. Kayong mga minahan dyan, pati yung Markoper, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa ninyo nalinis yung dumi ninyo. I will not allow it. You only give me 40 billion, lahat kayo each year, I can do away with the 14. Sirahan ko kayo lahat. You obey or uh, we will survive as a nation without you. Wag ninyo akong ano-ano. You, you, you try to castigate Gina Lopez for being strict. And yet you destroy the land, destroy the soil. Tapos yung yayaman kayo dyan, yung iba mga oligark, pa-partner-partner na kayo kung sino-sinong partner yung mga foreigners, then you get rich at the expense of our native land. Do not do it. I will not allow it. 40 billion, I can forgo with the 40 billion I collect from you guys. And the Filipinos will survive without you. Either you follow strictly government standards or you close up. Lahat ng butas sa nang dito na mga walang lisensya, I will order the military and the police to close them. Pag ayaw ninyong sumunod, ipapasok kayo doon sa butas, takpan ko kayo kasali. You want to try it? Fine. Let's do it. Eh, butas kaya ng butas yan. Landslide, landslide ng landslide. Tapos sabihin ninyo, mining is a critical component of the Philippine economy. Of course it is. It's income. But you're also making a critical damage. Hindi lang man ito na sabi ninyo na Ewan ko kung nag, basta anybody violating the minimum wage law, hindi kayo nang babayad ng tama, you go ahead with the contractualization, I will close you. Huwag ka nang maghintay ng business permit, permit. I'll always find a thousand and one reason to close you. Eh, gusto ninyo, brasuhin kayo eh. Nakikiusap na nga yung gobyerno na para makatulong sa kapatao niya. Or if, if, I, if I cannot do it, yeah, mag, magpunta na ako, mag-resign ako, maghanap ko yung ibang presidente. Of course, you're ready to do Fine. Pero pag sumunod kayo, sabi ko sa inyo, maawa naman kayo sa kapwa-tao ninyo. Maawa yung gobyerno losing. Kailan pa ba kayo nalugi? Yumayaman kayo ng yumaman araw-araw. Yes, bak uh, uh, hindi ito klase, ba't ka mag-raise ng hands? Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay um, pa. In your speech earlier, you talked about uh, the uh, possibly resuming peace talks pa rin with the CPP. Are you inclined to declaring the ceasefire again? And can you expound a little bit more on what you plan to do in the next 10 days? Hinuhuli mo talaga ako. Gusto mo ako yariin ng komunis na, no? Well, anyway, uh, as a president, 
I cannot, you know, go into it. Do away with contractualization. Alam mo, uh, I heard uh, Secretary Bellio of the Department of Labor saying that uh, he would be fielding more warm bodies, more men, to do the inspection because uh, they will bring to the attention of the people of the Philippines. One is the Lakadaisal, lakadaisical, lakadaisical, lakadaisical attitude of some big business to to really inspect all of the uh, in the category of uh, uh, you know uh, doing away with the contractualization. My, my, my message to them is very simple. Medyo may mga kumpanya pa, pati korporasyon, or whatever, uh, would fall under the uh, category of one who has to do away with contractualization. Alam mo, wala akong pera, wala akong tao, do not wait for us to inspect. I would like to assume that everybody who falls under that category will honor what we are asking for the people. Wag na ninyo akong hintay na mahuli ko kayo because 